Good morning, sir. Would you like some coffee? Oh, no, thank you, ma'am. No, we get some chow on you before we go to the office, my dog. Thank you, sir, but I already ate. Well, I don't. Okay. It's a nice place. May I read my paper? I'm sorry, sir. I don't... Thank you. You know what? Maybe I will get something to eat. Oh, hell no, you won't. You fucked that up. I'm trying to read my paper. Please, shut up. <sighs> you know, I sure wouldn't mind not roasting that hot black and white all summer. Tell me your story, Hoy. Like, my story? No, not your story, a story. Since you can't seem to keep your mouth shut long enough for me to read my paper, I want you to tell me a story. I don't know that many stories. You don't know any stories? No. Okay, I'll tell you a story. This is a newspaper. It's 90% bullshit, but it's entertaining. That's why I read it, because it entertains me. You won't let me read it, so you entertain me with your bullshit. Tell me your story right now, go. Well, um, there's a DUI stop. A DUI stop? Okay, well, shit, let me lower my gun. <laughs> a DUI? Oh, shit. Well, hold, hold on, it's a good one, all right? All right, so we were at Midwatch. We who? Oh, um, me and Debbie. Who's Debbie? Uh, I'm sorry, Debbie Maxwell, my training officer. You had a female training officer? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So, so what was she? Was she black, white? She was white. Liquor license? A what? A lick her license. Was she a dyke, a lesbian? Oh, I don't... Is she any good? Yeah, she's pretty good. Okay, so pretty good, Debbie, mid-watch, go. All right, well, it was a quiet night. We were... Boom, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see? You never know, that's the point, go. All right, well, it was a quiet night, and we're rolling, and I'm driving. This Acura, just a beautiful car, comes from out of a side street, right? And it's all over the median in excess. So I flip the lights, and I hit the whaler, and the guy just keeps driving like I'm invisible for about 10 blocks before he pulls over. So I run his plates, and they're clean. So I'm just gonna test and arrest. I'm belted in the unit, and Debbie is tossing up his, his car. You know, she asks me to come over to his vehicle, and she shows me a Snub 38, and two shotguns, fully loaded and locked. No shit? No shit. And she calls her supervisor, right? And I go to search the car, and I find 500 grams of meth in the dash. Turns out that this DUI was on bail for distribution on his way to smoke his ex-partner before trial. Boom. We well, prevented a murder. You got him. That's amazing, you know, it is. That you could be out there with a fine bitch for a year and the most entertaining story that you could come up with to tell me is a drunk style. But I don't believe you. You tapped that ass, didn't you? Hey, come on, tell the truth. You know you tapped that ass. You put her in the back seat, bam, cold X. Look, man, I have a wife. You got a dick? You do have a dick, don't you? Yes. Okay, so look, your dick lines up straight like that, right? Now to the right of it and to the left of it are pockets, right? In those pockets are money, right? Look, in either one of them, pay the bill. 